Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from where else? DatingAdviceGuru.com. Today we're gonna to talk about seven signs that he likes you, yeah, all seven of them, and he wants to ask you out on a date, because sometimes you need to know. I mean, you ever met a man and wondered if he was really as into you as you were into him? How do you know if he wants to ask you out? Men can be confusing at times, and you might wonder if his behavior is trying to tell you something. Well, being a man, I've definitely had that experience of wondering, you know, is this woman into me? We all want to avoid rejection as much as possible. And women desire signals, signs, and indications of a man's interest. In other words, you need proof that he actually is into you. Well, today we're gonna to give you those seven signs. He wants to ask you out. Signal number one is watch the eyes. Now I'm not talking about that lame advice you hear about, see if his eyes dilate, that's rubbish. What you're looking for is how he looks at you. Men cannot help themselves when we're attracted to a woman. When we find anything beautiful, we stare. So that creepy little behavior he goes into is really all about him being uh, enslaved by your beauty and by your appearance. He can't help but look at you, which sometimes leads him to be a little bit creepy. Yeah, I get it. But he's really just trying to figure out what the heck he can say to you. Sometimes he is left speechless. The best thing you can do to encourage him is just give him a little bit of a show. Flip your hair, stroke your neck, adjust your shoe. These little flirty things are enough to get him going and moving in the right direction. He wants to ask you out, signal number two is drop the bait. Some guys are just looking for an opportunity to grab onto so that he can ask you out. So he'll be listening in on your conversation for areas of common interest. And then he'll stay on those a lot longer. He might even bring them up again and again because he's trying to find commonality and ways to relate to you. Now, by staying on this topic, you know, unless he's painfully shy, you can keep putting the hints out there, but never take away the actual ask from him. In other words, if you talk about some concert that's coming up, don't ask him to it. You need him to do it, and he needs to man up to do it. Forget this garbage about empowerment, meaning that you need to abandon your needs as a woman. Empowerment means celebrating those needs. He wants to ask you out. Signal number three is he's curious about your time. Now, as I said, guys want to hear interest from you in some way to alleviate those fears of rejection. So he'll send up trial balloons from time to time. And one of those balloons is to ask you about what you're doing at certain times. What do you do when you're not at work or at school or what's going on this weekend? And what he's secretly hoping to hear you say is, oh, I think I'll be spending this weekend pretty much alone. In fact, I really wish I had something to do with somebody. Hmm, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Now, of course, you don't have to say it that obviously. You can just say, Saturday? Hmm, not sure right now. Still kind of up in the air. Then let him take it from there. Looking busy does nothing to make a man feel wanted. So don't tell him how busy your life is. Make it obvious that there is an opening to see him. Signal number four is priorities matter. Look, straight up, you want to be his priority, right? And if he's making you that priority without you noticing, you could be missing a big opportunity. Does he hang out with you for hours, even if he has other things to do? Does he stay up talking to you on the phone or texting you when he says he's tired? Does he risk being late for something important to spend time with you? These are all very big signals that he's interested. He wants to ask you out, signal number five is, he's curious about men in your life. And no, I don't mean romantically. If you bring up a male friend of yours and he asks questions about him, he's trying to figure out whether or not there's some kind of romantic interest going on there. Most men respect the romantic boundary of another relationship and he won't step on that. So he'll bring out your single or not so single status frequently in order to see if there's something going on there, to see if there's an opportunity. He wants to ask you out, signal number six is attention. And this one is a critical one. Does he really listen to you and pay attention? If he's asking you questions that show he's really paying attention to what you're saying, yeah, there's a high probability he digs you and he wants to see you, especially if he brings up stuff from previous conversations. Major clue. And finally, signal number seven is flirtatious behavior. It really comes down to this one vibe that he gives off throughout the conversation, and it's generally unmistakable. If he's digging you, he's gonna be flirting with you, and it will be painfully obvious. Most guys simply don't have a subtle switch when it comes to romantic interest. Women do, because you're trying not to appear promiscuous or too slutty, but men, we're gonna put it out there. He'll tease you relentlessly. He'll you know, put his hands on you. When he touches you, that's just another way for him to flirt. He doesn't realize that it's creepy. He just thinks, oh, wow, a woman. So be playful and fun and make it clear that you're game for some game. Yes, you do need to be playful and flirt a little bit back to get him to be interested. I realize most people don't want to play games, but the games are really the start of every single romantic relationship. You're really missing out on an opportunity to start things off with a fun and playful vibe. 
games are necessary when it comes to romance. Now, once you've established that he's interested in you, you've got to know how to connect to him. Most women don't know how to connect to men. And, well, unfortunately, you've got to know what his connection style is if you're really going to relate to him and get him to fall for you. Every man has a very specific connection style, like the bull or the turtle. And I talk about these in my Connection Code program. You can go watch a free video on this at datingadviceguru.com forward slash connection code. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash connection code, where you can discover his connection style. This is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com. Don't forget to like this video, and I hope to see you soon. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash connection code. And as always, what? Live and love with passion.